since the launch on 30th April 2023, the internet has been buzzing with the term AutoGPT. Dragon is AutoGPT. AutoGPT. Jarvis from Iron Man. It seems to have made quite an impact on online community. Officials from AutoGPT have recently tweeted that they have become second open source project in AI to receive 100k stars on GitHub. GitHub is, by the way, a web-based platform that allows developers to host and review code, manage projects, and collaborate with other developers. So guys, it's a remarkable achievement to receive 100k stars on GitHub. Now, if you type word auto on Twitter, you will notice that AutoGPT is one of the suggested words. So what is so special in that and why ChatGPT is becoming old news? This session will be a quick introductory session and these are some outlines of today's presentation. So we'll be covering introduction, who developed it, what it can do, can we call it AI or not, who can access it and some limitations. So it's an experimental open source application. Now these are some important words. It is experimental and it is open source. So it is not a finished product and it is free to use. It uses capabilities of GPT-4 language model. However, if you don't have access to GPT-4, don't worry, you can also use GPT-3.5, which is free. It is also able to change the thoughts of any long text like resume, essay, any blog, any website, or anything that contains large amount of text. Next big thing, which sets AutoGPT apart from ChatGPT, is its ability to autonomously achieve whatever the goal you set. Yes, guys. You just have to give some goals to AutoGPT and without your intervention, it is able to run on its own. As you can see in this tweet by Rowan, these AI agents operate on their own and complete task for you. Yes, guys, you can call an, you can call it an agent as it literally works on the goals you give to it and completes it by actually thinking on it and executes action based on the thoughts. This is something super cool and scary as well. You can appoint it like you are appointing any actual human. It works for you on the goal you want to achieve. So this is the experiment with AutoGPT by Rowan that shows how he asked AutoGPT to develop and run the business to increase the net worth. Then he gave target called goals to the agent like inventing out of the box recipe to suit the event named Easter. Then you can see how the agent responded that first of all, he will search for the upcoming event. Guys, this is super cool. You just give command and he actually starts thinking like human and starts searching on internet. You can also see here it is written that continuous mode is enabled, which means this AI agent, which is named chef GPT here is able to run on its own. By the way, you can name the agent as shown in this experiment. You can name it whatever you like to call him. You can see the warning is also written that it is potentially dangerous to use continuous mode as it may cause AI to run forever or carry actions that you would not usually authorize. Use it at your own risk. So guys, it is also important to use uh, AutoGPT ethically and for good purpose. So who developed this amazing stuff? His name is Thorin Bruce and he names himself Significant Gravitas on GitHub. Like Ajay Nagar, you all know him. Uh, he names himself as Gary Minati on, on his YouTube channel. The first demo version was posted on the site on March 30. 2023. And as mentioned earlier, it is made using OpenAI's most advanced model, GPT-4. Now let's quickly go through the, its capabilities and what it is able to do. The internet access. As we saw in the experiment by Rowan, AutoGPT is able to access the internet. It is also having memory management, both the short term and long term. The ability of short term memory management lets AutoGPT to store temporary storage of information that is necessary for processing the ongoing tasks. For example, when AutoGPT is engaged in a conversation with you, it needs to retain the context of the conversation, including your previous message and the current topic. In order to generate an appropriate response, this helps it to produce relevant responses. Long-term memory, on the other hand, retains the information for a longer period of time, which can be used to inform future responses. For example, if your goal is to update product quality based on the user's review on, the, on an e-commerce site, it remembers from past experiences and suggests actions needed to improve product quality based on the current reviews. This is really important and amazing. It uses Dolly for image generation. Now you all must be knowing what Dolly is. It is an AI powered image generation system developed by OpenAI who also developed ChatGPT. 
Dolly is able to create novel images from textual description or we can say the prompts you give it as an input or we can say prompts you give it as an input. <clears throat> so auto GPT is also having image generation capabilities powered by Dolly. It also can generate test cases and debug code. Now this is for developers. For example, you are a developer and you want to test a mobile app that allows users to sign up using their email address and password. A test case for this feature would include some steps like this. First open the application and go to the sign up screen. Then enter a valid email address and password. Then click on the sign up button. Then verify a confirmation message that appears on the screen. Then check that the user's details are saved in the database. This test case helps ensuring that the sign up feature works as expected and user can successfully create an account using their email address and password. So this was an example of a test case and AutoGPT can generate test cases like this. Again, a very useful stuff for the developers. It can also debug a code. Like if you notice that the code is not functioning as expected, you can ask AutoGPT to find and solve the error and it will do it in minutes, no matter how long the code is. It can stir up the innovative business ideas. For example, suppose a small business owner wants to start a bakery, but he is struggling to come up with a unique and innovative ideas for their products. AutoGPT may suggest few flavors or combinations of flavors, unique pastry shapes that the business owner hadn't thought of. Not just this, it can also look up over internet that what shapes and flavors are currently in trend, search and analyze the review and suggest the best stuff. And as I said earlier, it is able to access the internet. So can we call it an AI or not? Well, yes and no at the same time. AutoGPT is not exactly the same as traditional AI chatbots like ChatGPT, but it is seen as a step towards achieving AGI, which is Artificial General Intelligence. AGI is actually a hypothetical form of intelligence where a machine can learn and perform any intellectual task that a human can. On the other hand, AI is designed to perform specific tasks. AGI can also solve the problems which are having some unfamiliar situations whereas AI is limited to the tasks it was programmed to perform. So who can access this amazing stuff? In short, everybody, because it is an open source application. But AutoGPT needs Python, OpenAI API key, Pinecone and 11 Labs key. Now don't worry if you don't understand what these things are. They are just some technologies which are used in software development and AI related tasks. Like OpenAI is used to generate coherent outputs in the form of text. Pinecone is used to store and retrieve the information which we called the memory management in previous slides. And 11 Labs is used for voiceover. Yes guys, you can literally talk with AutoGPT. So the future is not so far that we can talk to an AI agent like Jarvis as seen in the movie Iron Man. So having so much capabilities, what are some limitations of this amazing tool? In short, we can say it is installation, user interface and reliability. Because it is an experimental tool, it is not a finished product like ChatGPT. To install AutoGPT in your system, it requires some tool as mentioned in the previous slides which you may find difficult. But don't worry, I will also show you how you can install AutoGPT and start using it as a beginner. So see you in the next session. Thank you.